everyone this apparently. UK rule girl messages people on Grinder asking to f- on them and throw them up, and then when they don't yeah. say yeah, they block them. Oh, throw up a nappy. So yeah, they want nappies. them to rock up in a nappy. I've heard. That. Yeah, I've, I've heard, heard that. This. That's what I've heard. I've heard this. <laughs> I've heard this. All the rooms are true. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. My name is Dee Dee Licious. My name is Crystal Vazorchi. And I am LaBelle. And we are the, the Girls. girls. bum ching Zada zada zi za za. Before we start this episode, we are going to be them annoying people. And we are just going to ask you very gorgeously to... Please go subscribe to our channel. Give it a like down below. Hit that LaBelle icon somewhere up here because baby, we're giving you content every single Sunday and we are doing this for free purely out of the love of our gorgeous, gorgeous pink hearts. And you just subscribe now because we see that you're not subscribed and it's not fucking fair. Like you have to subscribe now. Like you're watching it. You come here every time. If you don't subscribe, subscribe, it actually will end in five Four, three, three two, two, one. one. You got the chop. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, we're back. It's Sunday. It's and Sunday. And Sunday is the one yeah. day I get off my runway. Yeah, honey. Ready for it, hunty? What did she say? The t- that was the, such an icon. The day of God's one. rest. Oh, yeah. Is that what the bell God's, says? God's <laughs> <It's> Sunday. <laughs> he said, oh, we, but I, I didn't quite realise, like, because people obviously come up to me or come up to us and be like, oh, we love the pod. Like, you guys just talk rubbish and like we do. Yeah. But like, I think, I think I just clicked. They really mean like rubbish as in the sentences coming out my mouth or our mouths don't make sense. Yes, did. Mine did. No, I like someone put on the story no. from the fetish episode and I said tight hug and it came out as height tug. <laughs> and I was so confident in it. Nice thug. <laughs> <laughs> Big thigh. <laughs> <laughs> so random, so random. What? what? What is your favorite drag race verse to ever be in a franchise? Wow. <laughs> Dee Dee Licious, Fierce Wars so Well, I was singing, I was just singing Naomi Smalls. Oh, was she? Legs, you? legs. That's why Sunday oh. is the one day. Uh, like, I was like, oh, I'll get, that's not a drag, that's not like a, that's like her own song. Mm. Is I it? want a girl group. Legs on the menu. No, that was in the no, finale. That, no, yeah, no, yeah, she didn't. Oh, well, fine. It's not a girl a group, drag yeah. race like song. Um, I don't. Ooh, like, really nice. I, I guess song. maybe Shay's one in category is no yes. or peppermint. Oh, that no. was the best first ever. Oh, wait, um, yeah. But what was Shay Look at the edges I snatched that today. Was a good I see one. you watching a, a, a Shay. Yeah. And I've been in with anybody. She loves it, but she loves it. Oh no, no, mine has to be D to the E to the F to the to the D 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 to the E to the D to the D to the D to the D to the to the D Eggs. Eggs. Oh, what's the one that I like? Oh, go and sing your heart out, my little queen. <laughs> no, what Get is it? crystallized at Christmas time. I don't want to show off. Do, 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 do. I don't want to show off. off. It's Bob's one. Oh. And then she goes, hold on, the girls don't call me magic. I said it. Don't grab me the Oscar, because I'm only one on the roster. If you come for me, OB, you must be an SOG. Never was a hater, but I'm making magic. Then I have everybody around, but yeah. The subtitles, <laughs> but yeah. this. I had a lot to show. Oh, that one was no, good. I used to one. love that when I started drag. Oh, and really termination. I love that <laughs> one. <laughs> yes. yeah. Wait, what I find hilarious is they didn't have any part in that. So imagine the day they got handed those scripts. Oh. Yeah, imagine kimchi. Imagine they're like, Hi, you're going to be doing fat femination. <laughs> yeah. Hi, kimchi, come Could over you imagine? here imagine? That's so good. I wonder if she like got pissed off at that. I mean, I feel like it's your strag. What race would, you, what would your song but... be if you got made a song to perform at the end? Oh, it would be. It, it would, would be like Cry Baby. No, it would because I didn't cry. I'm not a cry baby. It's more like it would be. It would be something to do with that wig. It'd be like yeah. It would just be called wig or something. Yeah. But then it'd be like like it'd be a failed wig reveal into like take it off a forty inch human. Mimi Lisha. Yeah. I still don't get you that to this day. I know I can wave like that, but I still don't get that to this day. Yeah, but that's day. the point. No, it's all about me. <laughs> it's because it's all about you, so you don't see it. Yeah. True. Maybe, yeah, maybe point proven. we're talking about you, but it's not, like, in a good way. So you're like, huh? So one last, like, thing on that. What I actually 
guilty pleasure because when I listen to like Drag Racey songs, mm. I do have to turn my volume down on my headphones. So I'm like, no one can catch me doing this. What do you do? I, really? I ick myself out. Really? I don't know what it By is. By listening to a Drag Race song? Yeah. I, what kind I of just song? get a bit like, but As long but, as you're not like listening to Don't you say the world. <laughs> oh, that was b- that's Sorry, bad. Which one's that? That's bad. Uh, it was, I think it was All Star 7. No. Oh, it was nine. What's the one? Um, what's the what's the song they do in Vegas and it's really pussy and I've just it's gone out of my is head. It pussy? Is it pussy? What, yeah, it uh, is. Losing is the new winning. Losing, losing is the new. Losing is the new. Winning. Losing is the new. Yeah, I also like the one where it's like um, they're in the mirrors. No, what's babe. I'm in, still the in the mirror. In the mirror. La Belle's sitting there in the mirror, brushing a the makeup the brush no. on no. her face. When I'm hair get, and rollers. When I'm getting ready, hair yeah. and rollers. When hair I'm getting rollers. ready, I, the only music I would either listen to is like Drake. I like Drake. Or it has to be like Adele. Yeah. Like, tea. there's no, like, or there's no, oh, like, I'm hard a, beats. It's kind no, of just, I'm like, a, slow, or, like, Ray. Sure. I could do Ray, Adele, or Drake, and they're my three OGs. No, mine's Honey, you will like... not be able to hang out with Taste. When she's pumping music, bitch, she has, like, five speakers on tour, <laughs> and she's got them in her hotel room, and, like, the whole of the hotel is shaking, because it's like, <laughs> it's, like, but she's literally, just literally, she's put it's, like, anxiety coming girl. out of yeah, the speaker. Yeah, I can't deal with the freezing Really? Five. And she's there just, like... Oh no, I'm like, like I'm, I'm not. I gotta be in the mood. <laughs> in the mood. I don't know. I feel like when the music, it depends. It depends on my mood. But like, I do like listening to songs that hype me up when I'm getting ready. I and get maybe it. like, yeah, it like get me in the mood. It like like Megan. And... It makes you. It makes you quicker. But it's like mm. so off topic. It's like that restaurant like strategy where it's like. McDonald's will play like up tempo music because it's a takeaway. So like, you're meant to like feel like you got to be in and you out. You got to rush. Yeah, it's like that's one. B- and then when you're in a restaurant, it's always like uh, because it's like the settings to be there and enjoy and spend money and indulge. Yeah, but isn't the way it, it was like? Oh, yeah, it was like something like, like super drug, and they were like, um, no, it was super dry. And if you've ever been to a super dry, they're like booming music I think this and it's meant to like confuse you so you basically just grab stuff and, and you, leave. you get stuff that you don't need right. and you basically stress out so they want you to go in and like grab stuff and go right. yeah I was gonna but say I do that, that in, I do that in shops I like I feel like that's what I do because sometimes it's like me and Crystal went out today and it's like I see things I don't need don't want and don't have the money to pay but I will just add it because I'm like oh my god I just love this thing in the moment I think and it's I more home, like, I don't know if I'm going to need that in like two years. Like I, I might need that. That's my thought process. With like, Even throwing, I'm really bad at throwing stuff away. I will literally look at like, I've got, like I have an empty case that my wireless earphones that I've lost <laughs> were in and it's just sitting in my makeup drawer. <laughs> And I keep, I've gotten it out about five times and I also don't, <laughs> so u- I don't use the same brand of earphones. So it's rendered useless now. Right. And every time I get out, open it to no earphones and I go, you never know. And I put it <laughs> yeah. back. You never know. <laughs> like that. So you're a hoarder. No. Yeah, I'm a bit of a hoarder. I don't, I don't think I'm a hoarder. I don't, you're not a hoarder. I'm not. No, you're not. You're not. I go trash. Yeah. I literally come in this like living room every like five days and something's completely different yeah i no, get like, rid of things not, i get new things you're yeah. not a hoarder because i like i i come round and crystal's trying to give me something what's drag related because yeah. she's, like, well, she's looked at it in a dirty way and she's like i can't have it anymore and there's just like a new bag of clothes just sat there ready to be given away yeah <laughs> no tea because I, I i have a pile of stuff the problem is, is that i like i'm always if i see something i'll get something but like i usually like to get the next best thing yeah. So like when you it like comes to, to especially home stuff, mm. I'm really bad with home stuff. Yeah. So I go, oh, I'm feeling like beige, everything beige. Next month, everything needs to be black. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I chuck everything. Yeah. Um, I wish I was more like switched on with um, decorating because, well, yeah. No, because yeah, you're, my, ne- you're no, never going to be that. Babe, I had a hookup the other day. And he laughed at your back. No, problems. and he turned and he went, oh, there's a price tag on that. And I literally like heart sank. And I was like, Listen, I'm I'm gonna be up front here. I don't do this. No. I don't this is my room for sleep. Nothing yeah. else happens here. You yeah, but you don't That's like horrible. you don't I think when I lived I, I want to, I just keep forgetting. I think you are literally just like a no, man's I, man. Like I am. you don't look at something and go, This could be something. You're like, I'm yeah. gonna sleep here, I'm gonna take my clothes here, and I'm gonna change and leave this bedroom. No. And that's it. 
Like there's yeah. no walking in, there's no nice smell. I am not a boy. No, no, I put on a luxury. candle too, but I'm just like, I'm just too chill. Like I'm I'm not a boy, I'm, I'm definitely a middle-aged woman. Like yeah, I, I everything is mine. I need to make sure everything's prestige. Yeah. I literally had to warn her off of my laundry pods today. <laughs> Like I have to. Do it she literally went. By the way, like these are my. No, she she fully displayed it. She didn't just just point to her <laughs> clothes. Know, I left she, it out. She went oh. so that when I walked by, I remember to tell her. About yeah. Her. So you went. You literally went, and then she opens it up, and then she kind of like with her nails taps the box, <laughs> and then she like points to him. She goes, "Oh, I got I got these like new like nice like washing pods," and I was like, "Okay." Nice, Not for you. <laughs> nice, and then she just goes, and yeah, these these ones are mine. <laughs> and I was like, I was just like, okay, I do. I'm just like, uh, okay, Dee Dee. I, like, I spent fifty quid on cushion curtains. Wait, <laughs> <My> cushion curtains. <laughs> You would what if that it? was a thing that exists. You'd be cases. down. Right. Is that what you call it? Yeah, when yeah. I got yeah them you H&M did. Ones, I was like, babe, don't. But touch again, them. do you not kill with me? You, I think, because you know, I'm a bit of a. I don't really take words in. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a visual learner. Ooh, yeah. That she has to display it in a certain way. So she's li- like, she's selling it. She gets the cushion. <laughs> she fluffs it up. She runs her fingers through it. <laughs> she's like deli- moving her hands like in a feminine way around it to express that it's luxury. And yeah. I go, okay, me no touch that one. <laughs> Yeah, literally. Do you, know, do you know what? <laughs> do you know, like, this is the only way that I could describe Dee Dee Licious as a human being who, out of drag, ha- this is how she lives. You know, when there's like a blind person walking and they don't know where they're walking, but somehow someone's <laughs> always there putting like a plank of wood so she doesn't fall. Yeah. yeah. Like, Dee Dee's whole life is just someone, there's like a god in front of her helping her before she like falls and dies <laughs> every minute of the day. Because, like, if you was on Squid Game, you would somehow, you know that last bit where they're like jumping on the things? You would suddenly do it all right. I know, but that's, you know that's I mean? just, that is off. just like. She would though. No, it's like she'd, she'd be walking through the house and if there's a chair in front, everyone's moving the chair yeah, so everyone's she can move like, past. Ha- everyone's helping her move. Everyone's <laughs> trying to get everything <laughs> away or like put and something just, in place. But she's not, she's like, ha, like so out yeah, of it. Thing like, is, I mean. And everyone's th- just there like moving it for her. Thing is though, I don't like, I, I, I do understand that analogy fully. But I'm also like, so much goes on in here. Like, is it because all mm. the, is it all the energies going up in here that yes. outwards nothing comes, yes. nothing happens? Yeah, that's exactly what's going on here, Dee Delicious, for the last <laughs> eleven years. Is this my fucking intervention? Like, I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> yeah, is this therapy? I feel, yeah, like, I feel like, what's like you going go on? for a run and the squirrels are like moving like branches, so you don't trip over them. <laughs> but I they're moving trees. Believe it. I feel like Snow White's literally there, like picking up things for you to not die. But this is my other thing. I have found <laughs> this with everyone in my life. I'm treated like a younger sibling, and I love it. Because it's just always the case. Like, no one ever relies on me for anything, and it's so lovely. Do we touch a bit on Halloween? Yes. I Sorry, like this... it's literally Halloween season. Well, yeah, it is. It's literally like a week away until it's Halloween. It's Halloween! And I feel like we all love Halloween. Also, this is, like, general for everyone. I feel like everyone loves Halloween so much, but does this year just not feel halloween No, does, I don't um, think the UK kills it at any point. I, normally, I'm, like, really Any excited. time in the year, the UK is not killing we, it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, well, that too. Maybe Christmas a little bit. It's yeah, cute, but it's not... But fun. I'm, like... Christmas no, is but good. But normally, but... I'm really excited for Halloween. Normally, I've got a look plan. Normally, I've got something going on. But this year, I'm a bit, like... Hal- I'm, like... Yeah. I could, would I'd honestly be happy to skip Halloween this year and go straight to Christmas. Of course, I, just, yeah. I just think it's one of them things. I think Halloween's a season where it's once a year. I mean, it's so mean girls of me, but it is once a year that everyone gets to dress up. It's like kind of like drag queens kind of feel normal yeah. for once. And it's like the one time of year I wish that everyone could kind of come together and throw a big fat party and it not just be gays and straights and it could just be something that everyone's dressed up everyone feels welcome and everyone's just going off mm. and that's what I want I'm like I want to reconnect the nightlife industry not just like the queer industry it's every, every all nightlife dying and I just feel like sometimes we just need to put on a big fat project hat so like a big mm. fat party and just go off I just love when all the films like oh, there's a lot of fierce films happening right yeah. now oh God, but I love this time of the year because like you get to just like watch yeah. like Hocus Pocus and you went and watched The Substance yeah, yeah I watched it Um, it was good it was weird I think because everyone was hyping it up and I was like oh I want to see this because like all the girls are talking about it yeah <clears throat> Um, it was crazy it was shot really gorgeously. Honestly, it was giving like 
a big fat episode of Black Mirror. Right. Really? That's what it was giving. And I just, I was kind of watching yeah. it the whole time. And because it was long and there was certain parts where like you thought it was going to end, but it didn't. Right. At the end, I was like, I feel like it just could have been an episode of Black Mirror. Like, yeah. I don't know if it needed to be dragged out right. for a whole film. It could have ended quicker. Yeah. And it was shot very like American Horror Story where it's like quirky and like 0.5 angles. Yeah. And like very artsy. And oh, gosh. it was, it was quite fierce. It? Like it was like fierce, like the definition of fierce. Yeah. And glam and like hot. Um, there was a lot of Work. titties. I need to watch it. Yeah, there was a lot of titties and minges. Oh, I love a bit. Yeah, my my. And by the end, it was just crazy. What? We were watching it to, and we were yeah. like, "What the fuck?" Is I going do need on? to watch that. It I was need to twisted. Watch that. Um, I was going to say the fa- my favorite horror film. I guess that I've seen recently. Like horror films I've seen in cinema recently that I can think of was Talk to Me, which I thought was amazing. Um, mm, like Smile, that. which was meh. awful. Smile number one was so lackluster. Awful. Yeah, it was I am great. curious to know if number two's better. I like the concept of number two. The fact that it's like a it celebrity pop I star. Hope so. I think they have to make it better. So I, I will I will well. go see that. But Alien yeah. Alien Romulus Insane. was so was good. good. So see, that's the So thing. it made me like it actually I think like I've always been very fond of the Alien franchise. Like mm. we've watched them in order. Yeah. Like Prometheus, Covenant, uh-huh. um, whatever. But watching Romulus kind of activated this like f- fan of a- yeah, like same. a true fan right. of Alien. It was that good. It made us like a fan of the films again. Wow. Yeah, okay. and we I think films yeah, don't do that. To I, you don't, well, I don't. I wa- don't. I've never watched it. It's Alien. It's just good. It's not very me though. But I think is what I I don't know how people feel about the more story based ones, which I personally prefer. Right, okay. Because some people just want to see ah scary alien guns yeah. Yeah. blah blah blah, which fine. But um, Prometheus. The film is just so uh, Prometheus is so. Once I watched it again, really understood it. Amazing, loved it. Wow, just a cool Covenant like, was insane too. Series. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's just I like I like Romulus was great, and they did. I mean, it's out on uh, highest. Maybe I shouldn't spoil it, but the end creature. Yeah, they don't spoil it. it. The ending of it, basically, I was like, it was one of the. Did and it turn your pussy out? Yeah, did it was one of the moments where because it was um me, her, and Kane, mm. and I I literally was sitting in the middle and I grabbed both their knees. At the, <laughs> I gagged at, the, at the, the end. Guys. At the end, I literally went because <gasps> I was, was like, it was perfect. Because that that franchise has been going on since the eighties. Work is it the eighties? It must have been. It was like one of the, it was like yeah. the first sci-fi iconic film that came out. It's the first eighteen I watched was Aliens with my but dad. But that's the thing. I'm I'm so different because like my favorite film, even when I was a kid, has always been Saw. I think that's yeah, like you the love ultimate Saw. horror movie that it's ever been. I don't know why. I love it so much. And like even when we went to watch it, was it last year? Mm. That even that was just like chef's kiss for me i just felt like they haven't made a movie in so long for saw and it was just so pussy and it was so i think good. you would have really liked the substance film yeah i think i probably would have i think you I would have liked like, it a lot better than yeah I i've just watched this program um and it's not horror but it's just a bbc program it's called mm. ludwig mm-hmm. ludwig i don't know I anyway don't know. so pussy so obviously you know i love like my sherlock holmes yeah detective whatever do you know what? I'm like, I actually really want one day to be like on a program, like an investigating program, because it's that's another thing I just live for. And I've been watching this program and I finished it the other day. And it's basically about there's a twin and the husband to this wife's disappeared. The wife's like called the twin up and asked him to come over and basically try and figure out where he is. And he basically lived the twins life as a police officer but he's a he's like a puzzle master and he was like being this investigator and doing it by like puzzles and like finding the like killer in seconds because he was making it a puzzle and it was so fierce Um. and it was very much just like he would write up he would be at the he would place it out as a scenario as like a game of chess kind of thing and he would move everyone and be like you're the killer it's so fierce. I like loved it so much. Love. This is the one thing I don't know. Don't get. I'm scared of the police. I always have been as a kid because I had a really weird upbringing where the police used to bang. Like, I, the police have like broke down my door before as a right. kid and it traumatized me. And like ever since I was a little kid, I never used to be able to sleep in my bedroom. I'd always sleep in the front room just in case the police broke through really? again. I was there. Right. I, it was my. Protect- Why would you want to be close to I them? I don't though? know. It was always my protective instinct. That oh I'd always sleep God. in the front room as a kid. So that I used to always sleep on my sofa. 
And that was really young. That was like primary school days. And I've always been scared of the police. And mm. I don't know why, but I love um, programs like police people. Mm. Love it. I don't know why. So I know we really want to watch the Terrifier. Yes. yes. Well, no, I think, Everyone's talking I about think Terrifier. we need to do I've one, seen one, two scene and three all together. No, I've seen... Are you ready to watch it? Yeah. Because I can't... I don't want to just watch it with you because I need like a few other No, people. I want to watch... I want to watch it tonight. Oh, do you want to watch... We can watch one tonight. Please. Uh, no, can we watch two? Oh, well, I haven't seen either. I feel like I feel like I want to jump to two because no, I feel like, like one's we can budget. Watch one of them tonight is what I mean. Oh, we could watch yeah, one of them. I've seen one scene okay. from the second Terrifier, and it was a kill scene, and I was literally I started laughing. I is it scary I, though? Yes, fuck. No, I really? st- I started yeah. laughing hysterically as to how brutal and the Things the, the concept of this murder. Scene, I won't say scare what, me but like that, though. it's for anyone who's seen Terrifier two. The thing I'm on about is the bedroom one. Yeah, the bedroom scene. The bedroom scene in Terrifier 2. I don't think and it's, it's scary, like, is it's, it? It, it? After watching that, because I, I, I didn't think so. But I'm also just like, sorry, but people are... I'm all that. People are walking out the cinema, mm-hmm. diarrhea, throwing up. Yeah. I'm like, bitch... On the third are- one. We're going back to Saw quick. This is why I don't think Saw's scary, because it yeah. happens to bad people that deserve it. And also, I sit there and I appreciate the special effects and the hard work to get their money shot blood shots mm. because it is money shots. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting there going, that is so good. I don't go, ah! The only time I do that is with like ghosts. But this was the same, it's not CGI. No, but I'm like, I think I've watched a bit of Terrifier before and I'm very much just like, it's a clown. Oh, when we watched the woman get split over. Yeah. Yeah, but that was And I'm scary. going, that's a ham sandwich, honey. No, but they've up, the thing is, that was when he done, because right. he said he spent 50k on that film. Right. Well, the first? The first one was 50k, the budget. Really? So he went, he but made that... it because he wanted to make horror. Right. But he was like, no one's going to watch this. But he just made it. And then everyone started to like it and was like, how are you going to do the next scare scene? And then he'd done the next one and had more budget. And now right. the third one, he's had all the budget. Is it and insane? he's gone in. Yeah, everyone's talking about it. Have you seen all the TikToks of me before Terrifying and they come out and they're shaking? Well, that's what I want. Because there's a scene called the shower scene and there's the guy and a girl in the shower and Sank goes fucking yeah, down. Yeah, but I want that. Like, let me, I watched I, a bit of I it and all I saw, like I saw was a man's bum and then I saw Sank happen and I went, I can't watch that. Because oh I know he's going to get ripped. I really... Like, is it, is, is it going to be, be in like cinemas? Is it? And, and, the, and the starting scene... Apparently is is wild. People See, are literally I, like there. We need leaving. to get into that because that was yeah. the whole thing. It was like the third film. It was like the Terrifier came out. They'd done a premiere party with everyone watching, and like twelve people walked out in the first five minutes because the opening scene was fucked. What really scares me, and that's why it kind of got me. It if it's is not to do, scary. That's a comedy. No, 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 no. I get it. it. It really isn't. It's more the. I think it was more. I watched the first one. I really wasn't expecting to see a child's arm get ripped off in the first like few yeah. minutes. That really like sent me west, but. If it's to do with a clown or All you bitches something that scared eats. Of kids, and then as soon as one kid's no, arm it's gets not. Off, no, like, oh! no, it's not. I'm not scared of possessed kids. That's not scary to me. But when kids are getting mashed up in a film, that to me is like I think the darkest. Like you could go yeah. with kills. So that person really? that scares me. I think it's pretty dark. There's another. It's, cl- it's like the most innocent. Dark. There's another clown film about a guy who gets possessed because he puts on a red nose thing. I think it's literally called The Clown. And he turns into like, a, yeah, like this clown demon that eats children. And it's like, for me, it like that scares me. That unsettles me but to that's, the max. That's horror. The only thing I don't like is when animals die in movies. That's the bit what upsets me. Oh, I don't care. Not a kid. Yeah. No, I don't want to see a dog die. It's like in Stranger Things when that cat, what was it, a cat or dog, and oh, it yeah, died. That that was the most traumatic thing a cat, out of the no. whole fucking season. Because I was like, bless that poor cat, because that woman probably actually doesn't have a husband. And she, that cat is her one love in her whole life. She did have a kid. And it's been, yeah, but that kid's fucking Dumbo doing <laughs> the damn thing. <laughs> Dumbo doing the damn thing. But like, do you know what I mean? I want them to... They're obviously, they're going to make a new Saw, but I'm waiting for, like, a new Coraline or, like, a new Alice in Wonderland. That's what I would be excited for, to be honest, but they're yeah. obviously not my faves. And this is one, like, they cool, make it I, really want them, I want them to make it, like... I want them to, like... Like, she killed herself. I want them to make an Alice in Wonderland, but it goes even deeper. Yeah. Because, obviously, the characters are really, like, deep anyway. Like, the Mad Hat is, yeah. like... Like, he's... That's why he's the way he is, because it's, like an illness well it's all to do with Mad mental Hat health a, isn't it Mad Hatter is also a villain in the DC world is he yeah oh yeah. I don't know the Mad Hatter and it's the same as the one from Alice in Wonderland 
He's but in like, the DC it, world. It's like an illness, and like everything about that Alice Wonderland is fucked up anyway. And they've all got their own problems. And I'm just like, I would love to see kind of like a a darker scale where it's not so Walt Disney, and it kind of shows you like the realism mm. of the things. Imagine if it was like American Horror Story and it was an eight part series and it was really deep. No, I yeah. want. That's, yeah, that would this be is fierce. what I want. Be really I fierce. want, and I swear, someone needs to do this. Someone. Like Ryan Murphy, Murphy or someone like that needs to make a series like American Horror Story where it's a different thing every every episode or something. But I want to see like every single Disney princess starring a little mermaid, wow. Snow yeah, White. Little... But every single episode is the twisted story. Yeah. The original stories behind these people. I want to yeah. see the little mermaid Ariel yeah. getting her legs ripped off. It needs to be a series of like but, all the no, princesses, yeah, yeah. but yeah. twisted. I want to say, I, so I, when we watched Little Mermaid, the live, because my one thing with the uh, live action, it was good, but Ursula wasn't terrifying at all. Like not no. even, not, not even. Meant cl- to be terrifying. Yeah, but I, surely but even the, the cartoons a bit like, yeah. Yeah. but she's like giving that though. She's given that, but I'm like, I want to see that. The reason why I'd want to see like a Little Mermaid horror version, because yes. I can imagine uh, we were saying about this, Ursula just like fucked like, like an tentacles, squid and, thing, like. Yeah. Sharp teeth and like claws and yeah, ripping so people cool. apart. Like, oh, I would love to see that. I know they've got actual books of like yeah. the baddies, like the the villains mm. and their side of the story. I want to see that. Obviously, yeah. we've got Maleficent, and that is a great movie. Yeah, Maleficent. But I'm like, great. take it off Disney for five minutes and get it put into like Tim Burton or like someone like even Darko can make the story even mm. wider. I'm like, I would love to because these characters are so iconic. Yeah, they are. And I feel like sometimes. I want to see their stories. Like, even, yeah. like, the Mad Hatter just that hit him. Mm. And it not being about Alice. No, but, like, seeing someone else's story. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Reason. But, like, seeing, like, someone else's side of a story would be so interesting to me. Yeah, mm. I'd definitely be down to see stuff like that. It's, like, the in the Looking Through the Looking Glass, you kind of see how the Red Queen got her big head. And it's yeah. like, I would love to see that more. Yeah. And it like, be like, why she becomes a nut. I, I kind of love that about Joker though, but I do think they've overdone it with Joker. Yeah. I'm like, there's been too many. Yeah. Like, I think the one we got with um, The Dark Knight, with Heath, Led- Heath Ledger, that was the best one in my opinion. Yeah. It was the one where yeah, like, I remember gagging, because I think this is why I love DC so much, because it mm. is so dark. Mm. The reason he has a smile is because his dad used to literally like, yeah. go smile and cut his mouth. Yeah. That's how dark it is, but it has a story mm. behind it, because he used to be abused as a child. So, like, and it's like, that's, that's film. Like that's, that's how a villain should be. Yeah, DC's more dark. And now it's back to like, painting on the clown mask. And yeah. I'm like, I don't know. No, yeah. And I think I've watched, one of those, like that era of Batman you're on about. The Dark Knight. Yeah, I think I've watched I think I've watched one of the one where the um, Bane. I got scared. Yeah, I was actually I remember because I was little and I got really scared mm-hmm. at the bit with the guy with half the face oh, in the hospital faced. bed. Yeah. Yeah, when he turned and I saw all that. That yeah. really I love that, that really that, freaked yeah, me out. Bit. That freaked me out as That's a kid. I and I stopped but even he it. has a story behind it because he fell on his face and then the yeah. oil that was on his face caught on fire yeah. and like but that's what I like. I, I want to see more of that. I feel like yeah. if we're going to do remakes, like, yeah, do a remake of The Little Mermaid. It's fine. But I like at the end of the day, I don't want a remake of the same iconic movie you've already made unless you're really going to go all the way out. And sometimes they just never hit the mark. I'm like, give us the same movie, but maybe turn it around. Give us the villain side of it. If yeah. From the villain's eyes and you're seeing Ariel Poison get given Ivy the whole life. Do you get what I mean? Mm. Yeah, there's not really much on Poison Ivy. No, there there isn't. isn't. There was her moment. And pre- to be fair, for the little moment that um, um, Uma Thurman, even though it was like a not, it was literally called Batman and Robin and it wasn't like the most biggest Batman film, yeah. but still iconic for mm. her little role to oh, play. Oh yeah, they never really... So I'm like, let's bring, let's do more on Poison Ivy because that's yeah. another really good DC. Like the way she falls into the vines and like mutates i'm just sick of the whole catwoman thing like they fucking started so strong and they got so fucking oh weak. yeah I wanna they be, did. and i'm sim i'm bored of this like it's like the clean girl era like this whole no this, do you know what i mean but like this has gone on for so long this like everything's being simplified and, yeah. no. and like i'm like no i want to watch batman returns and i want to see the penguin literally come from the sewers and yeah. he has his nose and he's like literally eating fish like like that film was so good it was like the highest campery like special effects cinematic masterpiece and yeah. catwoman being like the ultimate sex icon in pvc yeah uh, there's been no, and then they come back now no and there's like she's got a little like fucking checker coat on like a little jacket there was I'm one like, was, was it was it anne hathaway yeah. did is it anne hathaway like she's not catwoman who did one 
And it was really awful. I didn't watch it, but I, I took one look and I went, no. She's not like a hot, fierce, cunty woman Michelle Pfeiffer is. There's that I genuinely can't think of any cat women that I've seen because I've seen clips from every single one. There is Michelle Pfeiffer app bodied it. Like there is gonna be no one unless someone does what she did yeah, so and scared. takes it up a notch. No. You have have you watched it? I feel like I've played the games mm. more than that. Like I only know the story really well because I've played the games. But I don't I don't I would, I must have been a kid if I've watched them. It's just so iconic. Even there's there's a scene that was so iconic. Cause she's done it once. She's that good of a cat woman that she literally on the scene. You you know like how hard it is to actually work a whip. Yeah. Like to actually you have to be trained to like yeah. crack a whip properly. No, yeah. And she'd done a scene and it was a scene where there was five mannequins and they all had their heads on and she had to whip and crack every single head off. She didn't one take. She went bang 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 and ah! every head clean off and they and she wrapped it and went done. Wow. So and they all applauded because it was the first take. Wow. And no one can do that. Not even yeah. a like professional whip yeah. master could do that. So fair. And I, it's like, that's so iconic. I would yeah. love to be on set for like these iconic films. For sure. And watch these things No, being I want to be in a movie. That's my like I do. biggest yeah, thing. Yeah, girl. Like, I want to be in either a crime series mm. or I want to be in like insane horror mm. stranger things but like something weird i mean the dumb <laughs> dumb white girl at the beginning yeah yeah <laughs> but like i just i would live i would love to be I, something like that i'd love yeah. to be like the gay person in the household in a crime scene you'd be good in like a little american horror story yeah maybe. or like a free eureka yeah. Yeah. eureka was an american horror story yeah that's, that's like what i mean it's quite iconic. it's quite well to fit in that kind of but world. ryan murphy's queer no uh I, I think he is yeah wait well, always he did he, pose we did. Everything's good. Yeah. Uh, and that's yeah. why it's, I think that's another thing because he gets it that we get it. He does get it. And that's why it. we enjoy it. He does get Cause it. Because I'm like, some things I watch nowadays, I'm just like, I can't even carry on because did I'm so bored. You, also, side note, um, we will do a group chat after this, but back to the Gaga thing and her doing the Joker. Did you see the, rea- the TikTok videos of her and the guy reacting to them watching it for the first time back. No. They never watched it. So they all wa- they watched it at a premiere party with like everyone else. And they were sat down, they got up and he literally goes to her like, that was awful. And she's going, stop it. Like that. And he's going, no, it was awful. And she's going, really? No. Like that. And there's a conversation going on. Yeah. It's obvious. When you watch the video, I'll show you it. But oh. it's obvious that he's like fuming. He was trying to turn to her and he... His face dropped. Someone li- readed him looking at her and going, that was the wrong ending or something like that. Right. And she went, <laughs> and he went, that was the wrong ending. And she went, no, it wasn't. And it was something like that. And then, and then, it, and then he kept saying something to her. And then she, her face dropped when he said like, he hated it or something. It was wild. And I was like, oh shit, it really is Oh bad. my God, imagine that. I know. This is the one thing I don't like about um, contracts and stuff is that obviously it's fine but I would love to see not with competitions but I mean TV you should kind of be able to watch the uh, the thing before you then have to go and watch it with the public yeah. like if I was Just... in a movie I would want to see it is like I was watching mm. the Beetlejuice premiere in London and the guy who was in it because there was like people from the UK in it and he was like, oh, I hope I make the car like, uh, not, not even knowing if his little role made the car one of the actors. That's so mad. Imagine not that even knowing. That is crazy. You've got to show people who started it. Is it is mad, but I also do understand it because if you show one person, you have to show everyone. And yeah. imagine everyone having an opinion or a take on what you've done. And then you you're can't about change to bring it. it. Yeah, it's too Because they're going to go, oh, can you take that bit out? Yeah. Oh, can you do that? I think it's fair. I think you sign think up for the role, fair. you do the job, yeah. and then you go home and they deal with it. Well, like, you get paid. Yeah. You've been paid for your I think time. It's pretty fair. And if your time's been added or not, I get it. Fair enough. But I'm like, for someone like Gaga and the other main actor mm. to be there and it's about them, I think them two should have been able to see that privately. Yeah, and I think more, gone. more, more, um, you bigger, I mean? more. And then they can go there and be roles. like, smile and at least pretend they liked it, not them being like, whoa. Well, because it kind of comes down, it happy. comes down on them. Yeah. They're, the, yeah. they're, they're present the, the whole them, time. No. Well. That was our two yeah. pants and all that. Well, let's wrap off this horrifying experience and chat with you girls. And we're going to watch Terrify. Ah! 
Oh, Ooh. right. Really that excited. was so good. But do you know what? We are now going to take it to the group chat, I believe. Yes, we are. I think we should. I feel like you all do send in your gorgeous messages yes. that we do love and we do love reading and we are trying to get to every single one of you. But if you have got something traumatic happened in the last couple of weeks, do remember you can send them in still over on the IG mm-hmm. in the highlights. So don't forget, do send them in because we do read them out. And if they are you see they do go straight to the top yeah they do so do let us know also one thing with the group chat please we would love to encourage drop the name because we do get some juicy stuff but drop that we've name. had a lot of stuff for like most people like anonymous. literally come for like drag race girls but if but they like, want to drop the name they can we won't read the name out no. those names are always going to be yeah. bleeped but yeah, just drop the name for us. Little, <laughs> yeah drop the name for us to. But yeah, any confessions, um, any advice from us, yeah, anything. Yeah, drop it down below. Anything you heard, you anything. overheard some tea yeah. or some drop. Oh yeah, like someone's been talking about us. Or That's someone's right. been saying something. Tell yeah. us. Oh my God, no, I've read it. And oh that God. makes sense. Okay. A Rue girl <laughs> is in fact into the whole throw up kink and nappy kink and has asked me to do it. And then I blocked me instantly after. And she said, no. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I'm semi not shocked. I'm, I'm not shocked. shocked. So Everyone, this UK Rue girl la- messages people on Grinder asking to shit on them and throw them up. And then when they don't yeah. say, Yeah, they block them. Yeah, no, I've heard some real. So I've fucked. actually, no, I've heard some like Fierce. shady stuff with them, like sexually. Oh, sorry. Oh, throw up a nappy. So yeah, they want nappies. them to rock up in a nappy. I've heard that. Yeah, I've, I've heard, heard that. That's what I've heard. I've heard this. Ooh. I've heard this. Oh, the rooms are true. Yeah. The being sick part is just so foul. Like, I'm sorry, but like, that's not a kink. That's disgusting. Yeah. Like, that's I, disgusting. No, anyway. being sick. Some people get, Let's go get to the real, real crazy out Let's there. Let's go to the real yeah. question now. Right, someone else has sent in. Hi, gals. I'm currently in college studying art and fashion. And they're getting A grades, but they're also trying to balance doing drag makeup for TikTok. College is making me take all my time away from doing what I love. Shall I carry on doing uni or focus more on my drag? I just, as I find it too hard to handle both. It and what is, how's the career going? Like, how's the like career? they're doing A grades. A grades, right. What is, um, so they are smashing uni, but they're also in love with drag but they find it really hard to balance both. Complete the uni, for sure. Yeah, complete the uni, If you're uni, doing well sure. in your uni, get it done. You've not got long. A couple of years is what in the lifetime? Yeah, I get what you mean. I mean, the thing is, it's also hard because you've spent the money. Yeah, the that's, uni uni's a different ball game. It's like college. So we dropped out of college and then yeah. started like, didn't go, get straight into drag full time, but retail jobs working up to buy stuff for drag. And Oh wait, we, no, I've read it wrong. Oh. <laughs> Why do we get you to read these? Should I read Babe, it? I'm really dyslexic. Okay, Calm do down. Oh. I'm currently in college. No, you're dyspraxic, honey. I'm currently in college studying art and fashion and they're getting A grades in college. Should they go to uni and, or, in, or focus uh. more on drag? I think it's now different. I think now yeah. it depends what you want. Are you wanting to be a queen who's a full-time artist and specialize in the art of drag but if i'm really honest and without bursting your bubble drag right now isn't a full-time career no it's 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 really hard very hard to get into so i would say if you are wanting to do drag and put your love and efforts into drag i say go for it because everyone should do their dreams and what they love and that's what i've always believed in that's what i've always done um but i would say maybe if you still love art and fashion and whatever you love, maybe try and get a side job or try and get something where you're still doing that and you're still learning a bit about that Mm. without maybe going to uni. But also if you're doing like fashion stuff like that, that's also something, because I was going to go from college photography at college to uh, costume design and stuff like that. Mm. But I kind of, the reason I left it in the end, cause I was like, I only want to do it so I can move to a city. Yeah. I'm not actually that bothered about the education. Do that. But I know, I think if you, if you're doing well in your thing, in your course, and you could potentially go do, fa- you could do fashion design, learn some sewing skills, put mm. that into your drag. You can use stuff there to put into your drag. It's just about time management. Yeah. And it is very hard. But uh, but then on the other hand, but times were different back then. We both 
dropped out of college yeah. to pursue our drag and it got yeah. us here but i as you said i unfortunately with the state the economy of the uk is in i don't risk. think it's it i think a it's a bit more of a risk it's today than it risk. was yeah. yeah i think it's just a matter of like do you, are you really enjoying what you're doing at college mm. and you also love the thought of doing drag like if you know if you like doing that then do it but yeah. if you really are hating it and you're like oh my god i really want to do drag yeah. then obviously your gut's telling yeah. you to do that you have to do but also like says. just doing drag is like a very umbrella term these days yeah mm. and like if you're just gonna do what like, everyone else is doing then it, no. you know and you're getting a stars in this other stuff yeah. then i'll probably just be a bit realistic um it depends what you want to do as i'm saying well, they love like, doing tiktok Huh? They love doing TikTok. They love doing TikToks. Well, you can still do that. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, you can is still I don't do feel, all this. I think if you're doing well at college, go and get uni done. Uni, yeah. done, uni in uh, fashion isn't going to be more than four years, is it? No. 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 The four year, like three, four I years. I also feel like if it's, it's not a long time. It, I also think it's like one of them things. I, I completely get it if your career is taken off. And let's say you were getting money from TikTok and you, would get, you had the gigs and maybe you couldn't physically handle it. But if you're a new queen and you've only just joined the biz, maybe do do uni and do drag on the side and let that build up with your uni career. And then once uni's done, your drag will be the level you want it to be. Yeah, we I think, I think we know drag queens definitely, who do that. I think get the uni done. Yeah. I think we all, you know, it's like you really got to be a unique somebody yeah. to like make it in this industry, yeah. especially for many years to come. So like say you should always have a plan B. Yeah. And if you can afford to have a plan B and you're doing well with the plan B, then mm-hmm. get it done, ace it, mm-hmm. smash it out of the park, then mm-hmm. you've got that beside you, you oh. know. That's yeah, you always have that. That I yeah, I'd say definitely do the uni. Stay but in school, kids. It depends. And also, if you're you doing college and like fashion and stuff, yeah, yeah it's really go it and get some extra grades and like learn more. Yeah. And then by the time you've done this uni course, you must be really ready for like. Babe, I w- I wish I actually kind of like I'll say this now. Don't regret my decisions because ultimately I got to where I got to. But if I could have had a bit more background in stuff like sewing and uh, mm. technical education on that. I would, I'd snatch up in a heartbeat. I know I can still do that. And it's definitely on the cards. But if I could have gone... (laughs) No, true to what you're saying. You should go back to school. No, no, no. no. But if... Because imagine if you did do textiles in school and stuff. Yeah, it's like, I, I, if I could go back and maybe be like, maybe stick it out and maybe go do costume design in London for uni. But it is hard because you don't get as much time to put into your drag. You don't. But if you want it that bad, you'll make time. Yeah. Work. Well, good. Good for you, girl. Thank you for answering that because that was actually well known. Thanks for putting that in the group chat because that was a really good one. Yeah, that was I enjoyed good, that. Yeah, I feel like that's a hard topic. To that was a relatable say. one, and I feel like also, if I'm honest, families and will never properly get it. So I think asking a queen, for sure. yeah, a fellow queen's probably in your uh, elders. Yeah, well, I think it's more of a realistic well, answer for that. what they want. Yeah, to that's hear. exactly what we did. We literally did that. We yeah. literally yeah. dropped out of college to yeah. do drag. But we were in a shit college and we weren't like doing great. Uh, we were bunking days off. Yeah. And they didn't do anything. Have we got a girl of the week this week? Girl uh. of the week is Art the Clown. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> girl we... of the week is Art the Clown because she is serving fierce horror, fierce budgets and fiercer money yeah. this you year. Could, you could split and me in half any day. Dental yeah. surgery. And um, just love the outfit. So love the slay. nose. Need that nose. Love the I tea. also love, mm. love. Yeah. I also mm. feel like everybody. I, I also feel like we should just be like. I'm also just like, love you all. Apart from you, <sighs> I felt really uncomfortable. <laughs> like I got, yeah. a, I got a cold vibe. Her from being that. all shitty nice. Anyway, and all. do subscribe if you didn't already, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the episode. We do love you dearly, and happy Halloween, muddle. <laughs> we have a good, exciting episode next week. Do we? Yes. Oh yeah, we do. We do. Yes, we Next do. Next Sunday's have a, very a great fun time. Episode. We have another guest, so stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. And happy Halloween.